Hi everyone and welcome to the sixth instalment of my favourites of 2021 series and wow that is some big hair. Excuse me while I just saw this out. <laughs> that is some big 80s hair right there. <laughs> the volume products are working. Anyway, welcome to the sixth instalment of my favourites of 2021 series where I'm going to be running through each and every category and giving you my favourite products within those categories. Today is the turn of the lip products so we're going to be running through liquid lips, lipsticks, lip liners, uh, what else have we got here? Lip glosses. Don't forget the lip gloss. So we're going to get straight into it. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name's Gemma. I upload new videos on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. And I'd really appreciate it if by the end of this video you find it helpful or entertaining in any way. Click on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So as per usual, I will be giving you my ultimate favourite product and then if that ultimate favourite is not affordable or cruelty free, I'll also be giving you my favourite affordable or cruelty free product as well. So let's jump straight into lip liners. Okay, so I've just been off camera for quite a significant number of minutes to find my ultimate favourite lip liner which I seem to have misplaced. I have it on today, so I have no idea where I've put it. Anyway, it is from Huda Beauty and it is the Lip Liner 2.0. I will put a picture of it up here for you so you can see it as I cannot hold it up to the camera. The quality of the pencil is better than a lot of lip liners that are more expensive that I've tried namely the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I do wear the Charlotte Tilbury ones quite frequently but I find the Charlotte Tilbury ones a little bit waxier and sometimes more difficult to apply. They clump up a little bit in areas, I'm not quite sure why they do that. Anyway, the Huda Beauty lip liner does not do this. It's really creamy, it's a lovely consistency, it glides on to even dry lips and sometimes I have seriously dry lips so it's really easy to apply and it doesn't budge once you've applied it which I just think is amazing. I can wear these lip liners on their own all over the lip or I can just apply them as a liner. I can apply them before I apply lipstick. I can also apply them after I've applied lipstick to sharpen up the edges of the lip. So multi-purpose, you would think that you will be able to do that with all lip liners, but that is not the case as far as my experience goes. Some lip liners are good at some things and some lip liners are good at others. Very rarely do you find a lip liner that you can do absolutely everything with. I can do everything with this one. Plus it has a sharpener as well. So you don't have to faff around trying to find your sharpener in your drawer that you misplaced a year ago. Um, yeah, you don't have to do that. I just have to faff around trying to find this lip pencil because it's gone. So the Huda Beauty Lip Pencil 2.0 is my ultimate favourite and it's also cruelty free, but Although it's definitely not as expensive as some higher end lip liners, I wouldn't class this as an affordable product. So here is my affordable favourite. It's from NYX. This is also cruelty free and it's the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner in the shade Nude Pink, which is perfect for my natural lip colour. So I like to fill in my lips with this. I also like to overline my top lips slightly with this to make it look a little bit fuller. So when I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever, if I feel a little bit self-conscious about my top lip, then I will go in with this pencil just to overline slightly because this is so close to my natural lip color, it would be a lot less noticeable. So this is a slightly harder consistency than the Huda Beauty. It's also slightly less creamy, but it's not overly waxy. So it doesn't cling and clump in certain areas on the lip. This is also absolutely fine to apply all over the lip, to line the lip before lipstick and also to line the lip after lipstick as well. It doesn't get confused when it's mixed with other products and 
some lip pencils do. So um, yeah, really like this one. This is my affordable cruelty-free favorite. Let's jump into liquid lips. Now my preference is a liquid lip because I'm lazy. And uh, I also, even though this is my job, I don't spend my day looking in a mirror. So once I've applied my products, I tend not to check again for several hours. So I really do need a product that is going to stick to my lips and last all day, have great longevity, still look beautiful for long periods of time, but also a product that is not going to dry out my lips because my lips do get dry very, very easily. So my ultimate favorite that hits all of those points is from Chanel. This is the Chanel Le Rouge Duo Gloss. And I have several of these in different shades. They are beautiful. In fact, I was going to pick up light brown when I was in Boots the other day and the Chanel counter was really busy, so I didn't. And I'm kicking myself now because that shade would have looked really lovely with my outfit that I'm wearing today. I should have picked it up. And I don't think I'm going to have time to pick that up before Christmas now, but hey ho, I will get it after Christmas. So I have the shades Intense Caramel, which I believe is an online exclusive. It may have been limited edition, it might not be available anymore. Um, Endless Pink and Timeless Beige, which I have on today. So these are dual ended. You have the liquid lip on one end, which gives you a beautiful covering. This is not thick, it is not gloopy, it glides on really like a satin lipstick and then sets down really, really fast. And then on the other end, you have a gloss. So this also seals in the other lipstick. You don't have to apply this over the top. Your lipstick will last without this over the top, but uh, I do feel it helps. And it has such a creamy consistency. This does not feel drying on the lips one bit. Quite the opposite, actually. This feels like a creamy lipstick. This feels like a creamy, very hydrating, lush lipstick. And I do not have to check myself in a mirror at all. I could eat, I could drink. This will not go anywhere. So although it is a pricey product, it's worth the splurge for me because I only have to apply this twice in a day. So it's gonna last a really long time. So the Chanel is my ultimate favorite. It is heavenly. The luxurious vibes just burst out of the tube, but it's not cruelty free and it's also not affordable. So my affordable favorite goes to a product that I've recently found within the last six months. This is from Revlon and it's the Colorstay Satin Ink. Now, I don't find this as luxurious as the Chanel, but boy, does it last on my lips. The one thing I need to let you know is that do not over apply this. This is a silky, soft, very, very thin formula like the Chanel. It's not goopy or thick when you apply it to the lip. And I think a lot of people, the main mistake that they make with this is to apply too much. So during the day, it will end up looking a bit crusty and some flakes will fall off. You don't want that. To avoid that, apply a very thin layer and let it dry. It will last all day. It will look smooth and beautiful. It won't flake or go crusty. It's lovely. It really is. Comes in some amazing shades as well. I also have several of those shades. Where have I put the others? Maybe I didn't get them out. I'm not very organized today, but I do have other shades. This one is in 001 in Your Go To, which is my favorite of the shades that I have. It's a lovely neutral nudie brown and yeah, it's just divine. So this is where I run into a bit of a problem because the Chanel is my ultimate favorite. It's not cruelty free and it's not affordable. The Revlon is affordable, but it's not cruelty free. And I don't have a cruelty free favorite which is an issue. So I've tried out lots of liquid lips that I haven't liked. 
I have really tried to find one that can be classed officially as cruelty free and I can't find one. So instead of just shoving one in this video, which would be completely disingenuous and a bit of a lie, which you know I won't do, uh, I'm gonna ask for your help here. Please list all of your favorite liquid lips that are absolutely amazing, non-drying, non-crusty, really hydrating on the lip that last all day in the comment section for me. I will try some of those out. So hopefully next year I will be able to provide you with my favorite cruelty-free and affordable liquid lip. Thank you. Let's move on to lipsticks. These lipsticks are going to be hydrating, creamy, nourishing on the lip. They're gonna feel beautiful. My ultimate favorite, once again, it, it, it goes to Chanel. I don't think anyone makes lipsticks like Chanel. If you're ever wanting a luxurious present gift to send to somebody, Chanel lipsticks are like no other. This one is one of the Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks in 116 in Dream. I did say when I first reviewed this that I was going to buy some other shades and I am yet to do so. This is a lovely corally yet neutral pink. And it's, oh, it's to die for, it really is. The formula of this, really shiny, really beautiful, really hydrating, really nourishing and feels creamy. It's like, mm, I don't know why I've just done that because I haven't got this one on. <laughs> I got this one on anyway. It is stunning. However, if you're wanting a cruelty-free version of this, it's not quite, I mean, it's not gonna be a dupe for you, but it's very, very similar. I would definitely try out the Huda Beauty Cream Lipsticks, I think they're called. Yes, they are. I have these, again, in several shades. They are amazing, they really are. Obviously, the Chanel, again, ultimate favorite, but is not cruelty-free or affordable. These are cruelty-free and they are divine. They glide on, they just really hydrate and nourish. They do everything that the Chanel lipstick does for a more affordable cost, but not really classed as affordable. So I've swatched them all on the back of my hand so that you can see this top one is the Chanel in 116 Dream. And then we've got Angel in the Huda, we've got Buttercup in the Huda, and then also Sweet Cheeks at the bottom in the Huda. As you can see, they have a very similar sheen on them and they're all creamy and hydrating. Absolutely stunning on the lips and they're very long lasting. For a creamy lipstick, these last an incredibly long time. So the Huda Beauties, they are cruelty free, but they're not classed as affordable. So let me give you my affordable favorite. I spoke about this in my most recent drugstore better than high end video. This one is from Milani and it's one of the Color Fetish original lipsticks, not the Color Fetish matte, the Color Fetish original. Although I do think the Color Fetish matte lipsticks are absolutely divine as well. These are my favorites because of their hydrating qualities, because of the comfortable feeling on the lip. So the shade that I have in the Color Fetish lipstick is the shade 110 in Lustful, which looks really bright in the tube, but actually transfers onto the lip much more subtly. It's gorgeous. It feels like a balm, but with super pigment. It, it's just exquisite, it really is. I do feel that the Milani Color Fetish lipsticks last slightly less time than the Huda lipsticks and the Chanel. So just want you to be aware of that. But for the cost, this is unbelievable. Let's move on to my favorite lip glosses. I do love a good gloss. I feel like by applying a gloss, you can elevate your makeup look to the next level. One second without a gloss, you are quite flat. And then apply your gloss and wham, bam, you have arrived. <laughs> so I do think that glosses play a very important makeup role. If you have been a regular to my channel for quite some time, you will not be shocked at my ultimate favorite. 
because it is just so elegant and beautiful. This is the Tom Ford Sunlust Lip Gloss. There is not a hint of jamminess in this lip gloss one bit. This is full of sparkle, but you can't see it. It really does enhance the lips. It plumps the lips. It just sings. Now to look at this, it looks a little frightening. It's gold. Who wants gold lips? Not me. This does not look gold on the lips. You can wear this on its own or you can wear it as a topper. And it on its own, it looks like a beautiful apricot shade. Over the top of something, it just adds that zhuzh. Just a bit of something completely and utterly exquisite. Am I over-egging it? It's really good. <laughs> Can you tell how much I love this? I'm, I'm really quite passionate about this lip gloss. I haven't tried anything else that is similar. I have tried some of the Pat McGrath lip glosses that have a slight sparkle and a sheen to them. Again, it really doesn't compare to this, although they are absolutely beautiful. Still my favourite. So it's expensive though. This comes with an exquisite price tag. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, I never have this off my lips. I, I'm lying, obviously, because I don't have it on today, but this has lasted a long time. I, I've not bought another one of these yet, and it still looks like it's full. I'm not quite sure how that's happened. Maybe it's some magic happening there. So that's what it looks like over the top of a lipstick, but be aware, I did already have my duo on, which comes with a bit of a topper, which is a gloss. So this isn't exactly the effect that you would get because I'm applying it practically over a gloss. So a gloss over a gloss, but um, I still think it looks stunning. It really is beautiful. Now, I'm raving on about this, but let's hear the other side of the coin. Apart from the excruciating price tag, if you have tried this and you really didn't like it, I would love to hear from you in the comment section because I don't have anything negative to say about this, so it would be really useful to open up the floor to anybody that has. So let us know why you don't like this because I am trying to be as unbiased as physically possible, but I find it very hard with this because I love everything about it. So if you could let everybody know why you didn't like it, that would be really, really great. So the Tom Ford Sunless Lip Gloss is my ultimate favourite, but the price tag is laughable. This is definitely not affordable and it's also not cruelty free. So let me give you my cruelty free affordable favourite within the gloss category. Once again, we have a favourite from NYX. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. I've tried the Milky Gloss from NYX. It's perfectly nice. This wins all day long for me so beautiful and the pigment is amazing from the NYX Butter Glosses. I have this in the shade Spiked Toffee which I believe is a new shade, don't quote me on that, and also in the shade Praline. One of them is slightly more ready toned and one of them is slightly more neutral toned than the other but they are both gorgeous. So the NYX Butter Glosses also last quite a long time on the lip. I don't feel like I'm constantly reaching down and having to apply more of these. I would have to apply if I ate or drank a lot, um, which I would have to do also with the Tom Ford. So there's no difference there. But I feel like the pigmentation of this lasts an incredibly long time. So it's all good. It's also not sticky or jammy on the lip. It's very, very comfortable to wear. Once again, you can wear these on their own because the pigmentation is so great, but you can also wear these over the top of a lipstick as well. And I haven't had any adverse reactions or this reacting negatively to any lipstick that I've ever worn this over the top of. Beautiful. So that's it for my favourite lipsticks of 2021. I really hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to list your favourites in the comments section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.